Hey, welcome back to the News at 10, everyone. Thanks for choosing KTVH tonight. Well, the Montana State Capitol is home to the legislature, the governor's office, and the office of the Secretary of State. But it also showcases some of the state's most impressive tributes to its people and heritage. MTN's John Riley reports. The Montana State Capitol holds a total of 34 murals and eight sculptures honoring the state's people. During the construction of the building, the state's founders intended the design and interior to reflect the values and aspirations of the treasure state. They were very insistent that they wanted Montana's history portrayed, that they wanted important aspects of Montana's story on the walls and uh, displayed in a, a manner that everyone could understand. Watching over the rotunda are four archetypal figures representing the roles of the first Montanans. Governor Toll gave specific uh, instructions. The Indian chief, for example, is Chief Charlo, a Salish chief who, who resisted removal of his people from the Bitterroot. For the cowboy, Toole didn't say a specific cowboy. He just said, look at the work of Charlie Russell. He knows cowboys and that's what you want to do. A decade later, Russell's work would be added to the Capitol. In the House Chambers is the cowboy artist's largest work ever produced. Standing 20 feet tall and 25 feet wide, the painting depicts Lewis and Clark meeting the Salish Indians at Ross Hole. The title says it's about Lewis and Clark. The painting is really about the Indians and what a majestic statement that is about the importance of Montana's first inhabitants. The most recent additions to the capital were dedicated in 2015 and depict the women who built Montana. It's not about just the few people we think of as being exceptional. We have Jeanette Rankin's statue down there, that's great. But the history of Montana is made up of the history of really ordinary people doing ordinary things. Whether that's homesteading, whether that's starting a small business and running it as we see here. Those are the activities that make Montana what it was and what it is and what it will be in the future. Governor Joseph Toole said, the capital will be to the state what the homestead is to the citizen, what the fireside is to the family. The artwork of the capital serves as more than mere decoration. It preserves the ideals and hopes of Montanans in the people's house. In Helena, John Riley, MTN News. Well, that was pretty impressive artwork, but uh, I don't think I want to be stuck in any kind of house this weekend, it sounds like, Curtis. No, not even your man cave where you have a lot of prints of those uh, artworks. <laughs> but a very expensive prints of those. Yes, you do. It is fantastic. <laughs> but uh, yeah.